Hello everyone, we are in Berat, Albania, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, also known as the City of a Thousand Wonders. But before we're going to explore that, I have to show you something what I normally never show, and that's our castle grounds. The place where we stayed last night, and the value for money so far in Albania has been amazing for your stay, but this place, right in the castle, in the attic, in a beautiful hotel with breakfast included, only for 25 euros a night. Staying at Barrett Castle is unique and affordable. The price includes breakfast, but the love that the owner took in restoring the place in this way is definitely visible. It looks very premium, and even in the restaurant area, there's eye for detail by presenting the historic artifacts. But we aren't here for the hotels, so let's start to do with what is best when you're here. At least think that the best thing is that just to get lost here in the castle grounds, that's already a good start of the day. The castle dates mainly from the 13th century. It is located 214 meters above the rest of the area, which can give you some good vantage points. So this is our first view over the thousand windows where that site was in the past the Christian site, the site where we're on was the Muslim site. Nowadays it's all mixed. But the only thing that drags my attention from here is a very strange white house looking building. Barrett has a history of Muslims and Christians living together on these grounds. And that is what you will see back when you walk around. I'm not really into churches, but the Holy Church of St. Trinity dated somewhere in the 13th, 14th century here on the castle grounds in Berat are quite interesting to see, mainly because it's a very rare influence between Byzantine and Western architecture inside, but also the frescoes are still slightly visible. You can see what they wanted to paint at that time and the restoration is fully in progress, so you can see that in action as well. Also the difference between the mosques and the church, what you see on this castle, is that the mosques are mainly in ruin and only the large remains are remaining of the mosques, but this church is pretty well maintained. It is time to leave the castle grounds behind us and figure out why Barrett has the nickname of a city with a thousand windows. And this is why Barrett is called a city of a thousand windows. Opposite the Osman River, the Muslim side, this, the Christian side. Then there's an old bridge, the Kurika Bridge, which was built originally in the 17th century, then destroyed by some floods and recently rebuilt in a new style. And then there's this bridge on the right hand side that we're going to cross as well. And we are now just going to get lost between those thousand windows. The best way to explore this place is just to get lost in the Mangalam area where you have all these old buildings crawling up. But be careful that these rocks where you're walking up can be quite slippery. So I'm not sure how this would be after a rainy day. So if you ever think of visiting Berat, the castle area, I think you need around three hours to explore that. And keep in mind, if you don't sleep in the castle area, you might need to pay 300 lakh per person to visit that. For us, it was free to visit, luckily. And then there is the city center with the thousand windows. It took us around two hours to explore that. So around five hours it will take you to explore Barat. In the evening, the city comes to life around the Republic Boulevard, where all the restaurants are located. But also the castle grounds turn differently with the lights on. What I find the most fascinating at all at Barrat is just the whole castle area where you have the castle walls, but the castle grounds, everyone is still living there. There are hotels where you can stay, people having a restaurant, just normal people, just old people walking around and living there. I don't think I've ever visited a place in the world where inside the castle grounds, they were just still living as kind of old times. 
It's just so strange to realize that in this castle, if you stay here in the night in Berat, you have this complete castle grounds for yourself together with the families that are living there, including the viewing platform with some great views. And now I'm just walking here on the remains of the castle. It's just crazy to think about this. So it's definitely worth when you're staying here in Barat, just stay at the castle grounds. At least it's good to see the city coming more to life when it's dark and the things light up, gives a beautiful angle. But having a full day here is maybe a little bit too much time. But I'm going to sleep back up at the castle where I deserve to sleep, I hope. And I will say to you, good night.